So as you all may know, Leah today is the richest jailbreak player and the first player to have her own exclusive vehicle while reaching 1 billion cash. The developers themselves have played with Leah and found out that she was not a hacker and rewarded her with this spaceship which today is never ever in use. Due to the fact that Leah quit back in 2020 after hitting 1 billion cash because when she was first grinding to 1 billion cash in jailbreak, her goal was to hit 1 billion cash and then quit. And the goal of hitting 1 billion cash was always a desire of being the best jailbreak player out there. At least money wise. Money. Skills wise, I'm not too sure, but as promised four months back in this video, I said that I would bring Leah back, but there's a video that I have prepared with Leah that no other jailbreak YouTuber has done before, and if this video hits 1,000 likes, I will go ahead and release it early. But here's a fun fact. Another player over here, as you can see from the richest jailbreak player leaderboard, actually surpassed Leah in jailbreak cash. Now even today, we still know Leah is the richest jailbreak player, but we never even noticed that someone else passed Leah in jailbreak cash. Neither did the developers care, and that's only due to the fact that nowadays it's very easy to cheat especially if you're on pc cheating on mobile is very difficult unless you have an android and like you're super pixelated and everything but leah actually never cheated whereas all these players probably have or probably open safes or did some sort of methods to hit 1 billion cash and surpass leah but let's say even they are legit i don't think asimo even cares at all anymore because they already regret giving leah the jailbreak spaceship due to the fact that she literally quit one month later after hitting 1 billion in cash and getting her own exclusive vehicle but at least i guess leah got rewarded for sweating for the past three years hitting one billion cash but the spaceship today is still very cool it's basically like the blade pretty sure it's actually buyable if you hit a billion cash so maybe one of these rich players can actually buy it but here's the real question will leah ever truly return to jailbreak most likely she is very close to finishing college this year, so maybe she'll come back for a little bit. Any hours later. So as you can see here, we're inside of Jailbreak, and Leah is back. 1.1 billion cash even today. It is 2024, and this type of cash today is still pretty crazy to think about. All right, I'm gonna escape and actually go find her. Meanwhile. So she's at the power plant. Let's go over there. Maybe she still has her spaceship. I know she still has it, and like she hasn't probably spawned it in the longest time. Oh, shoot. There she is. Damn, and she still got her spaceship. Even in 2024, it's still untouched. And actually, here's a fun fact. Asimo actually regrets giving this spaceship to her because she literally quit after she hit a billion cash. Still says... Still says Leah 1 billion and everything on it. Very freaking cool. Bro, this literally feels like the blade. Like, it's basically the blade. The height is the exact same. I guess she came back to check out some things. And for some reason, it won't let me private chat. Yo, she forgot everything about Roblox. But we're just flying over here. And bro, she's actually gotten better at driving. Like, I remember how trash she was at mobile. But I think, like, Jailbreak kind of fixed the mobile issues. Because, like, she's driving very good. Whereas back then, she would be lagging and, like, having really high ping and, like, freaking moving two pixels after two pixels this video is from 2021 of winter and bro she literally could not drive like it was super laggy and at that time mobile was very very bad on jailbreak and as you can see she can't even like go up bro like she was struggling it took us a good like 30 seconds just to turn in our jewelry store money so from that time she's definitely improved or jailbreak just improved their mobile system even though mobile control she says is still horrible but at least they've improved a lot and made the game more compatible but she He's doing kind of good right now. I'm gonna tell her to go to the new bro. Is she trying to rob the museum? Like, what is she doing? Go to the new map at Volcano Base. Cause I know she hasn't seen that yet, and like, it, it would be nice if she actually gets to look at it. I don't even. Know. <laughs> Just go straight. Yeah, if she goes straight, she should be going to the volcano, bro. She doesn't even remember where the volcano base is at. Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just follow the train tracks. We're gonna be like, we're literally gonna be a train, but like a spaceship version. All right, and here we are. Bro, what's happening to her character? <laughs> what the frick? Oh, I guess she wants to check out the volcano base, bro. The volcano base has changed since the last time she played. Like this whole thing is like completely different from back then, whereas it was just a simple volcano base, and now it's like this gray thing. Now, if you already don't know, Asimo has OG plans this year for jailbreak, which also means that a lot of OG things will come back to jailbreak, such as some of the old vehicle models, some old buildings, some old areas. A lot of revamps will happen to bring back some OG elements into jailbreak, and this also means that Leah could come back and a lot of other OG 
OG Jailbreakers player. Leah actually finishes college probably this year, and that means that if she finishes college on time, she could actually have more free time, which also means she'll probably come back and grind a little bit. Which, of course, I will make happen, but do you guys think that a lot of these OG rich players quit Jailbreak due to the fact that the game changed so much? And this is a debate that I want to know down below in the comments. Of course, eventually everyone found out that the game is literally them not touching grass, but was this change also due to the fact that the robbery system was implemented and now you cannot even make your own grinding system as well as the game turning into a car game such an amazing car <gasps> oh my god look at the pointy part what genuinely made these rich players quit all right i'm gonna go ahead and spawn in like the og vehicles like i know she's gonna remember the torpedo bro she's probably looking at all this like why did they change everything <laughs> all right she's gonna head out now i'm pretty sure her mom is like telling her to get back to bed because it's, it's like past her bedtime back in old jailbreak we used to host rich player events a lot of them would involve leah and we would try to hit records like 10 billion cash or 5 billion cash today with the amount of rich players that we have including all of these 1 billion jailbreak players who passed leah which we don't know if they're actually legit together we could probably create a very very big rich player event the last time this happened was in this video where we hit around 12 billion ish cash which is not really a lot and leah was not there but the truth is that a lot of the og rich players have quit trying to get them back would be very difficult as they basically don't see this game as how it used to be the game today looks drastically different from how it was back then there are mostly no og vehicles left unless you actually have the ones from 2017 and you still have them and actually bought them on time there are no og places to go to everything in the game has basically been revamped and in general the game is basically jailbreak 2 a brand new game since 2017 so when a lot of the rich players are asked to come back for a rich player event which such as we do a lot of them end up saying no because this game does not really feel the same anymore and that's the whole reason they quit wanting to come back is like basically playing a new game which is why 70 percent of the og richest jailbreak players do not return for even videos or to check out the game and see where it's at and how it's been. but i think the next few jailbreak updates will definitely bring back some of the og players for one we know that asimo has plans for og updates but two asimo once talked about bringing in a 100 million dollar vehicle into jailbreak and as you all may know i cannot do anything with my 113 million which i've had for several years now ever since leah quit in 2020 i've stopped grinding as well and for four years i've basically not grinded the game my cash has never went up and it's only been going down ever since new vehicles have been coming out that i basically do not care about well, this money has no value to me i can't do anything with it i can't purchase anything with it i have every single thing in the game today so if asimo does add that 100 million dollar vehicle which only 100 millionaire people can see it that would actually bring back quite a lot of people it would probably become the most valuable vehicle in all of jailbreak except for being more valuable than the leah spaceship but also it would give a brand new purpose for people to actually grind jailbreak again jailbreak grinding will actually come back and it won't be as dead as it is right now because all the game is about now is trading vehicles and hyperchrome which is why most of the jailbreak feeling of the game which is cops versus robbers has disappeared but adding the 100 million dollar vehicle into the game will basically solve all of the issues that i always address in my videos so definitely if they add the 100 million dollar vehicle it'll bring back og versus jailbreak players and leah